Hello, my name is Michael O'Keefe, aka The Movie List. If you enjoy this interview and want to hear more top-notch film industry conversations, please press the thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell to stay in the know. All right, hello, Kantamir Balakov. How are you today? Great, thank you. Great. And uh, tell me about your movie, Beanpole. What made you want to make that one? Well, because I've read uh, Stuan Alexievich's book called The Woman in the Face of War, mm. and this book showed me that I knew nothing about the war. Okay. And I knew nothing about the woman mm. at the war. So it became interesting for me, and I got obsessed with it. All right. Uh, what did you learn? I've learned many things. Yeah. And for as a as a director, one of the most interesting thing for me is what happened with the woman who can give birth. What if he went to the war and have been surrounded by death for four years mm. and came back to the peaceful kind kind of peaceful life and tried to make a normal life and how she transforms, how, uh, what she felt in her body, the physical shift, the bi biological shift, the psychological shift, all these, all these things was interesting. Yeah, definitely. And we were talking before I started recording about Soviet filmmakers, where we both really like that stuff. Yeah. Do you have a favorite Soviet film? A lot of, a lot of, I mean, what is the go Wings? Uh, I don't seen? know that one, no. Really? You stunned me, man. I wow. <laughs> I, I can't know everything. You should. Yeah, I should, it, yeah, okay. It, I was inspired by it. Uh, Alexei German, my friend Van Lopshin. Okay. Have you seen this? I, man. No, no, <laughs> no, no, I, no. Hutsif, Marlene Hutsif, um, Cranes Are Flying. I've seen that. That's a classic. Well, that's a classic. Yes. I can see the influence on that. Yeah. On, on, on Beanpole, for sure. Definitely. Mm -hmm. What were you trying to accomplish? Like, what was your statement on the time period? Well, uh, let me let me tell you one thing. Uh, yeah. it's, 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 it just became really important for me because I was like, if I can speak about the movie, about the meaning of the movie, mm. why should I shoot it? <laughs> so, I mean, it was a journey. Yeah. I mean, freedom of meaning allows you to create your own meaning, and I wanted, I want to audience make film unique by their own vision, by their own ex experience, you know, by their own ethic, their own citizenship, and etc. 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 And only in this way, the dialogue is possible. You know, the dialogue between. Yeah. If I will tell you what about my film, what was important for me, and etc., it will be a dictatorship that I think pointless for cinema. It's like we, we, we should be in dialogue. For you, for for you, being is about this. For me, it's about that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's interpretive. It's it's so it's so important for the movie. Multiplex the layers, multi layers of the film. It's just got it. So how did you prepare your two female leads for this was it once you With cast the help them of literature okay I, of course we cast them it was the first uh, cast it was the day the first day of the cast yeah. casting and they came both and it was i was so surprised by it but after that uh i advised i advised them to read stan alexievich uh the new granin books called uh, Book of Siege of Leningrad. It's like no, it's like documentary interviews with uh, mm. human beings who were war at the siege Got in it. Leningrad. And I read Platonov's novels because E. It's like mixed uh, of Andrei Platonov's characters. Mm. All right, no Dostoevsky. No, it's no. a different type period. Yeah. No, 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 that's yeah. not Dostoevsky. Poor Raskolnikov, you know, he had a rough. So, could you tell me about your previous work? before uh, this project? Closeness, this is my first future film, or mm. Tisnata. Uh, it's based, it took place in 1998 in uh, in Nalchik, North Caucasus, my homeland, Okay. where I came from. Right, I heard, yeah, right, yes. right. And uh, this is a story about a young woman who wants to live her own life. Mm. It's, to be 
sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's great. And um, how did you get into filmmaking, though? I came it with no uh, sense of okay right? <laughs> purposelessness. Yes. In okay. Like, because got it, got it. I never knew that I want to be a director. I never knew. It's really? just you just bumped into it. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What would you love to see change in the Russian film industry? I want to see more young directors. Mm. I really want to see this this kind of changes because as a young director and uh, with my first one with my first one film I was struggled to make to get the finance yeah. for the for the first region especially when it's about North Caucasus who don't give a shit about this region in, in Russia people don't know it no generally speaking N generally yeah. speaking yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and in, in Russia cinema is based in Moscow in, yeah. in North Caucasus there's no cinema at all Mm. And I just got lucky to be studied in Alexander Sakurov's studio, and he helped me with my first feature film. So I admire him, love him so much, and always be appreciated. Would you make the uh, the move to Hollywood? We'll see. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to rush it because uh, I want to rush it and get mm. fall into it because I don't. I think that I don't know. The details yeah. of the of how he of how people live there of uh, mentality mindsets and some kind of things, but I think it will be interesting for me to get the Hollywood star and uh, make a film with him cool. in North Caucasus. Yeah. Okay, how about that? <laughs> yeah. that's, that's that's like a compromise, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's cool. Are you enjoying Toronto? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I really love the city. Yeah, the 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 rhythm of the city. Yeah. Is, I feel it's mine. It's kind of it's the people. A lot of people call it the clean New York. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of it. We yeah, get yeah. that a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. New York is like Toronto on steroids. It's the dirty Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that though. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, my friend. What do you have planned for the immediate future? Oh well, I think my third one will be based in North Caucasus, mm -hmm. Nalchik, but nowadays. I'm kind of tired from the past. I want to make about nowadays. A contemporary film. Yeah, temporary film. And it'll be a man's story. Well, I think it's great. You know, it's important sometimes people get a little Russia-phobic yeah. and have misconceptions, don't totally understand. And to uh, see see a period film like this, that's a really strong quality. We we have more in common than, than, you know, than we have differences. And cinema is a great way to express that.